Hi everyone, my name's Alicia. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States and I live in St. Paul, Minnesota. And today I would like to share with you a card I made using the What's Cooking bundle. This bundle is on sale right now. Um, it's 20% off. So right now it's a steal. Honest truly for $40.75. You get this fabulous stamp set and you get all the dies that coordinate with it um it has some <laughs> i just love this because it's so much fun okay it has what's cooking for a sentiment happiness is homemade for you sending you a dash of kindness and a spoonful of love and there's a bowl there's some vegetables little chef hats um salt and pepper shaker grinders a spatula, a wooden spoon, measuring cups, a chef's knife, and a rolling pin. And in the dies, there's a cutting board that is not in the stamp set, and a whisk that's not in the stamp set, and a spatula slash turner. The other one's a rubber spatula. And this one, like I said, the bundle right now is on sale. So if you've been looking at this one and couldn't decide, do I need it? Don't I need it? You know, the, the game we all play. And this would be a perfect time because it's on sale for 20% off. This is, like I said, it's so much fun. If you are a baker, if you're, you know, love the, the um, sentiment happiness is homemade. This would be great to use to make tags, to put on. Um, like if you make homemade goodies to give to people, this would be a super fun set to use. Um, also this really comes in handy at the holidays. Like I said, with the happiness is homemade. Um, I personally, um, make homemade Christmas cookies and I make little trays and hand them out, um, to people. And I did use the happiness is homemade. Um, I used the little chef hats, I used the bowl, and then I put some coordinating Christmas stamps, obviously, to go with it. But I thought today would be fun to show you a card using that bundle, and then a fun way that you can make your own background paper. So, for this um, card right here, I used, for the card base, I used crumb cake. And this is um, an eight and a half by 11 sheet cut at four and a quarter and then scored at five and a half. Um, here's my parts and pieces right here that we'll use for this video. And then I have a piece of Bermuda Bay for the mat that I cut at five and a quarter by four. I have a piece of basic white that I cut at five by three and three quarters. And I also cut a piece of basic white at five and a quarter by four for the inside of the card. Um, you're going to need a piece of crumb cake scrap for your cutting board. And then I use so saffron and calypso coral cardstock scraps for my dies. I cut those out already. And then this is trim is from the Playful Pets trim set. Um, we're going to use the black and white, and we're going to use that for the handle of our cutting board. And the only thing I haven't done yet is I have not scored my cardstock. I forgot to do that, and I'm going to score that. And you want to use your lighter colored blade when you score, and I'm going to score that at five and a half. Um, you can just fold it in half if you'd like, and then use your bone folder, but I like to get a nice crisp um, fold and I feel like when I score it and then fold it and then use my bone folder I get a nice crisp fold and a card that lays flat and then we're going to take our piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock and we're going to look for my seal Add some seal here. 
we'll use this as our first mat on our card. And like I've, if you've watched any of my videos before, I'm horrible at getting things straight, so I always like to use the grid lines on the Stampin' Up! grid paper. And I use that for my scrap paper. I don't know if you can see in here, but my last video I stamped on it, so thanks a bunch from my Celebrate Sunflowers video. So here we have that. And like I said, I've already cut my dies. So now we want to take our piece of basic white that um, we cut at uh, five by three and uh, three quarters, and we are going to pull out our inks to make our background paper. So I chose Bermuda Bay, Pool Party, Calypso Coral, and So Saffron. So the first thing that I would like to do is I am going to stamp with, let's see, which one should we pick first? Let's pick the rubber spatula first. And that I'm going to stamp in Pool Party. So when you're making a background for uh, with stamps, I like to just stamp all over, all different directions, off the sides. I don't like well, some, I mean, I'm not going to say I don't like it to be uniform because there are times where you might want something to be in uniform. That's a whole nother uh, type. This for background paper, I just wanted a bunch of the different stamps um, for background. So make sure you have a piece of scrap paper on your work surface because like I said, we're going to stamp off the sides of the paper. And let's start with our rubber spatula and I'm going to do that in pool party. And for this one, I'm just going to angle like so, and I'm going to re-ink, and I'm going to go maybe like this, and then maybe just a little bit of them peeking out at the bottom there, and then I am going to go off to the side. Let's turn them like this, and let's go here, and re-ink. And let's put maybe one like this. And I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to put a little piece of handle right here. Just like that. So next I'm going to use the rolling pin. And for that I used So Saffron. Open our ink. And we're going to ink up our rolling pin. Okay, and you could do any colors you would like. I was just thought these were good colors to go together. And I'm going to put the rolling pin there. And I'm going to put one kind of in the middle of these here. And any design that you want to use, any placement, it's totally you. It's totally up to you. It's your it's like your own designer series paper. Now let's put one right about here. And then I'm going to take and we're going to just maybe a little bit of the handle, but I think I'm going to go straight on like this. Okay, so there we have our rolling pin. I'm going to set these aside. Close up our soul saffron ink. And then let's do our measuring cups. I think they're measuring cups anyway, unless they're stocked pots. They could be stocked pots, pans together, but that's probably what it is. I've been calling them measuring cups this whole time. <laughs> so let's ink that up. And let's see, where do we want this guy to go? Let's put him right here. Okay. And I just love these. You get such a nice beautiful image with a little bit of the shading there. I just, I really like that. I like that a lot. Um, let's put one, let's, let's go, well, we went straight with that one. Let's go like that, with that one, with that one. So what do you think? Do you think they're measuring cups or do you think they're pans? I bet you they're pans stacked together. Okay. Let's see, where else should we put this? Maybe we'll take and we'll turn this around and we'll just put one of the handles. 
that. And maybe I'm just trying to get the color kind of all over so things aren't just in all in one spot. That. Okay, and then I guess what we have left is our wooden spoon. And that. And you know, you can always go back if when you're doing this and you're looking like, oh, I think I need a little bit more soul saffron on this side, or or I need a little bit more um pool party. So this one is the wooden spoon, and this one I chose Bermuda Bay. And this one I am going to kind of take it just like that. Get a little peek of it there. Hold it there. Another one. Color there. Let's see. I have one, two, three. Maybe we'll go like that. There. So here we have our own background paper. We have the stamps from the stamp set that we used in all different colors. You could for sure do this in all in black. That would look, oh, I didn't even think of that. That would be so cool. Like if you did all of these in black and then you had... I just chose two of them here and then you could do a few more of these die cuts for the in um in black that would be really cool or not in black you have the background in black and then do these in the colors to coordinate with your other paper yeah that would be cool okay so we have that that's all done see that didn't take any time at all and then, and then because you're doing different stamps, you don't have to clean, quick clean off in between the ink. So that was, that's why I chose to do, you know, I could have done all um, rolling pins in all the different colors and you still can. I was just looking for something quick and easy to put together for a quick card. Just a what's cooking card to say, what's up, what's cooking, what's cooking girl. Okay, so. We are going to flip this over and put some seal on it. Okay, we're going to adhere this to the card base and we're going to open up, make sure we got it going the right way. We're going to center that right on our Bermuda Bay mat. Okay. And now we are going to take our cutting board and we're going to put it there. But first, I'm going to take my piece of my black and white trim and I am going to just thread it through just to make it make a little knot just like so and then I will cut it at the end so I know how much I want to leave my card because right now let's just I like to kind of place things before I, I set them, you know, down. Or, you know, like I like to move things around and say, oh, it kind of looks better like that. You know, that kind of thing. Because then I want to take, I'm going to take my Bermuda Bay and my sentiment. I want to make sure that it's in the right spot when I put my, so I think, I think this looks good right here. Okay, I'm going to flip that over and we're going to use some dimensionals give it a little pop. Put one in the middle so that uh, it doesn't sag. I like to use a lot of dimensionals. That's up to you. You could use three. Use five. I'm using five. Okay, so we're going to set that right about there. And then I'm going to pull out my all-purpose, my multi-purpose um, liquid glue. And we are going to put a little bit. I'm going to grab my silicone sheet so I don't make a mess and get sticky all over everything. 
because when I use glue, I get it everywhere. Okay, so I want to make sure that I got this flipped over. Yep, and we're going to add a little bit of glue on the handle of a spatula or pancake turner, whatever you call it at your house. And we're going to put it just right, well, and that's why I only put it on the handle because I wanted a little bit of it coming off the cutting board and I didn't want it to glue down to the, the paper, my background paper. And then we're going to take our super cute list. Well, actually, you know what? I kind of want this tucked over a little, under a little bit. I wonder if I can pull this up. Yeah, we're going to just pull that up. I made a mistake. So what we're going to do is I want to, I want to make my banner and then ink my sentiment before I glue these on. So I have my pick a banner punch and I like to cut, this is a uh, three and a quarter inches wide. And then I just use any length. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to cut my end first so that I can feed the paper through the punch like that and you can cut your own banner I just seem to get it straight when I use the punch and I just am horrible at getting things straight I can't do anything straight okay so here we have and obviously it's not going to be this long but I know I want it the banner and so when I stamp my sentiment I'm going to go closer to this end and then I'll cut it to the length I want after I stamp my image. It's just easier to go to run it through the, the punch that way. So I chose what's cooking as my sentiment. And I am going to put it right about there. Okay. And then I'm going to take my snips. And we are just going to cut it right about there. I want to see if that's enough taken off here because I want to tuck a little bit under here. Yep, that looks good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to put a dimensional on this end right here. And I'm going to put some liquid glue on this end. Peel this off just like that. Okay, now I mean business here. <laughs> so I am just going to take that like that. And we still have our glue on our turner that I glued down too soon. Now we can take our whisk. I'm going to flip that over. I'm going to add a little bit of glue onto our whisk. Isn't that cute? It's all cute. And I am going to put it right about here. Okay. So I think that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to take and my snips, now that I know where everything's placed and where it's going to be, I'm going to cut that off. And then I can place my dot my embellishments my other embellishment and i am going to use the classic matte dots i'm going to grab my um take your pick tool um use the putty end and we are going to use the black dots we are going to take a large one and i'm going to put it right about here i'm going to take another big black dot i'm going to put this one on the cutting board right about so and a little one right about there just kind of adds a little bit more pop gives it that um, use the color of the black to bring out the black in the sentiment in the ink of the sentiment and then we are going to take our other mat that we had cut out our basic weight at five and a quarter by four we're going to turn that over we're going to add a little bit of seal just like so and this will be for the inside of the card and then you can decorate the inside of the card whichever way you'd like. If you want to keep it um, plain and simple, by all means, it's your card. Do what you'd like. For this card, I am going to leave it plain and simple because I want to write quite a bit in it. But if not, I love to decorate the inside 
of my cards. And this would be really cute. You could take and put a couple of the same tools, the rolling pin and the spatula, and stamp those on, on your card or the inside to kind of tie in the front. So there you go. Here's a card made with the What's Cooking bundle. And now you can feel, you know, make your own background with whatever you'd like with stamps. I love making my own background paper. It is so much fun and just adds so much more to your card. So as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I will put all the information in the description of this video with measurements and what I used for this card. Thanks for watching. Bye now.